Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be pressing some of our dog collars. We have three different sizes. We have a small, medium, and large, and I've brought one of each with me today. And what we'll do is we'll give you some tips on how to press. First, what I brought with me are some blank dog collars. The images I went ahead and I already pre-cut, and that is just a preference. You do not have to do that. So I brought some scissors with me also to kind of trim those out. I have some heat tape some Pro Spray, and several sheets of protective paper. And one of the things that I did first is I took a sheet of protective paper and I went ahead and I wrapped it like a present just to kind of make sure that I have paper covering my entire corner. I did the first one and we're going to do the second one. And this is all to make sure that we protect our press when we do our collars. And depending on the size of your press, this is just a tip that I found helpful. You may or may not need to use this tip depending on the type of equipment you're using. But the idea when we press is that we don't want to have any heat applied to our plastic pieces, which are on both sides. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a drape effect. And I'm going to use a couple pieces of heat tape to secure my dog collar in place. And with my dog collar in place, I'm going to grab another sheet of protective paper. We're going to do a quick pre-press. And again, refer to our website for our current instructions with what's going to work with your equipment. And once we do a quick pre-press, we'll get out any excess moisture. We'll be able to apply our image. And with our pre-press done, let's remove our sheet of protective paper, grab our image, and we'll coat it with Pro Spray. You may want to do it over a trash can just so it doesn't ruin your floor surface. And we'll apply this to our dog collar. One of the reasons why I do prefer to trim it myself is just because it's a little bit easier for me to see exactly where I'm applying my image. And the Pro Spray should make it stay in place nice and easily and we'll be able to kind of move it around if necessary before we do our final press. When I have it exactly where I want it, I can take my sheet of protective paper, place it back on top, and we'll do our full press. And that sound means our press is done. So let's swing away and we'll move our transfer. And that looks really cool. I'm going to go ahead and remove this from my press. I'll be able to use the other corner of my paper. Make sure that I don't have any ink that could transfer. We're going to do another collar the same exact way, but we're going to be using the opposite corner just so that we don't reuse this area where the ink is transferred. Give this some time to cool also. We just finished pressing our second dog collar and you can tell how well it turned out. The ID dog collars are very popular for putting your pet's name or telephone number on there. We have the dog leashes that match so you can make a nice little combo, a little bundle for your customers as well. And you'll want to be sure to check out our website at condi.com for all of our pet products and watch more of our videos at conditv.com where we have videos on all of our pet products and it will give you more ideas on what you can do for your pet line. For tips, products, and services, be sure to check out our website at condi.com and watch more of my videos at conditv.com. I'm Brittany Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.